It's just a normal day. Uh, I got one of them spells that I, I, I usually would get at night, and I got one during the day. I've never had one. And so when I got out of the car, it's going to help him out a little bit. Kind of grabbed on his truck and said to him, what? Holy. He wasn't breathing, and I started CPR. And I knew the second I looked at him that something was seriously wrong. It felt like a long time, but actually the response of Lakeview was maybe eight minutes. He had a 90% block of the matrial artery. The doctor looked at me and he goes, I cannot believe this guy's eyes are open and he's talking to us right now. He goes, it's amazing. We're very fortunate in our area that Lakeview EMS um, is the gold standard for what a community ambulance agency could be. Two paramedics, the majority of them, at least all the full-time staff, are trained to the critical care paramedic level, which is a step above uh, standard paramedic training. It minimizes the errors, it maximizes the quality. But it's not something that any community can say that they have. It's, it's unique to our area here. We have something really special here at Lakeview. There's a culture that really uh, is focused on doing the right thing for the patient and doing the right thing for the community. And Lakeview EMS is absolutely no exception to that. You know, this community has always been very supportive of the hospital. Last year, we were really fortunate to be one of those departments that was supported by the community with a capital campaign for two new ambulances. What we're seeing is an increase on the inner facility piece of our business. Typically, we would see you know, maybe 100 mutual aid calls a year. And last year, uh, Lakeview responded to over 1,300, roughly 43 to 46 different cities we responded to that we normally don't. You're seeing people on ventilators, they're on multiple medication pumps. And in the past, because of our volumes, we didn't need to have all of our ambulances set up with that high-tech equipment. The ask is we're looking for more ventilators for the ambulances and higher grade uh, cardiac monitors. When someone is, is really critically ill, time is of the essence in these cases. Again, I'd just like to thank you um, for all that you did that day. Um, you don't realize how fortunate you are to have EMS. It's huge and um, I am just very thankful to them. You know, obviously mo most of the equipment that, that we budget for every year um, is pre-planned. We know, what, we know what we're gonna get. For us to uh, purchase this kind of equipment, it could take us three to five years to get the equipment that we potentially could get out of one of these capital campaigns. Our hope today is uh, that we get that support that will bring the, the best care to the, all the communities that we serve.